Well, here we go again. We're in once again talking about the U.S. Army Small Arms Ammunition Manufacturing Plant, Lake City Ammo. In Independence, Missouri, there's chatter again of them stopping the production of civilian ammo, specifically in our favorite sporting rifle caliber. Now, I've been talking about this for a while, and I know some things that I can tell you about it, and then I've also called Winchester Olin Ammo Corporation, uh, their communications director, as well as Lake City Ammunition Manufacturing Plants communication director, and I got some things to share about that as well. Here's what I know. Obviously, the U.S. Army is switching their calibers to 6.8 uh, by 51. Everybody knows that. That's a common thing. They've been spending billions of dollars, also shared on this channel, billions of dollars building new facilities to produce that particular caliber. Right now, it's being tested heavily in the U.S. Army, but it's ready to start shipping those particular shipments of that ammo. Now, obviously, at that point, the 5.56 is going to be phased out, and you have to know that to be so. So, I believe... Let's let's stop for a second and say 30%, 30% of the commercial ammo in 5.56 comes from Lake City Ammo Manufacturing Plant by the U.S. Army, well managed by Winchester. Now, this is going to eventually happen. This is something that you have to accept. It's The Army is phasing out that ammo. They're not really interested in making civilian ammo right now. I'm sure I'm certain of that as well, regardless of the caliber. But they are phasing that particular caliber out, so you have to know this is coming. And, and I said that months ago, better stock up, it's coming. Now, here's what I know for sure. I knew that would happen. Now, is it actually happening? Well, that's a great question. So the first thing I did was, I now, I last time this came up, I drove to Lake City Ammo, and they actually kind of pulled my car over and pulled me in and took my phone and said it was kind of an ordeal. Uh, mostly because I tried to drive through the gate, and they have like a visitor's entrance. I didn't see that. I just tried to drive through the gate. Um, and in the end, they just gave me the number of the communications director. I called him, and he didn't call me back. So this time I went and just started. I'll call the communications director and I called. Uh, it was a different person because it was a female this time. Um, call once, no response. Called twice, no response. Uh, each time left a detailed message. Just have one simple question. Are, is the U.S. Army stopping production of this caliber? That's all I want to know. Commercial production. Um, no response. I called Winchester, uh, actually got a person. They transferred me to the ammunitions communications director for the Owen Corporation. And he didn't answer. I left a message, um, called again, left a message, called again, left a message, and nobody's called me back at all. So I, I like to say that I, I, I know more than I knew before I made those phone calls. And to some degree, when they're not actually calling you back, it, it kind of begins to answer some of those questions. Um, you know, we, I, I hate to make assumptions, so I'm certainly not going to make assumptions. I'm just saying they didn't call me back after three attempts of each one. Um, I'll continue to call them. I'm just going to call them and call them and call them. Eventually, I guess they'll get sick of me and call me. Um, and I'll definitely let you know what they say. But right now, what I do know is media outlets are reporting that they're canceling their commercial contracts. They're not calling me back at all. And the U.S. Army is already switching to a different caliber. And they've been talking about new facilities, getting rid of old facilities, uh, spending billions on this, you know, for the last year or so. So um, I don't think it would be surprising if they did. And if they're not doing it, I'm just going to say it like I said a few months ago, get ready because they're eventually going to shut down production. You know, the U.S. Army is not making 30, 30 rounds for people, but, you know, even though that used to be a military rifle round, they're not making that anymore because, you know, U.S. Army doesn't need to be making that anymore. Um, they're just trying to profit through Winchester and through the commercial sales um, of, you know, this over surplus of ammo, which there seems to be a lot less of lately because of all that's being shipped off overseas anyway. 
Uh, so this is something you have to wake up to. You have to be prepared for it's coming. Whether it's here right now or not, I don't know. I would put my money on, yeah, it's probably here because I've been saying it for months. But if it's not, it's coming. And that you have to know. So any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below, especially that insight. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. The most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests and never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and God. And as always, love God. Love your family. And love God's.